Hello everybody, this is Sick Cooking Bricks. And today we have a very different video from usual. I've done this before, but this is the first time where I've actually gone back in time with my catalog reviews. So this is actually a Toys R Us catalog for Lego only, which is pretty interesting. Um so let's just jump right into it. This is from let's see, I think it's from 2011. Let me just check on the back maybe. Or in the inside. Yep, 2011. 2011. <laughs> okay. So, as you see on the side, here's some of the themes that we're going to be having here. There's look, CMFs here, Alien Conquest, Games, SpongeBob, Ninjago, Toy Story, City, Creator, Bricks, uh, Atlantis, Ferris Crest, Legoland was still going on then. Um, Cars 2. Hero Factory, Duplo, Mindstorms, NXT, Star Wars, Technic, Pirates, Kirian, Harry Potters, and Racers. So those are some pretty cool sets. This is like when I was actually into Lego as a kid. This is my kid sets. This is kind of stuff I would buy. So it's pretty interesting. Um, save any five dollars for um the purchase of thirty thousand more in Lego games at Toys R Us. Oh, I think it's expired. Yeah, it expired like uh, six years ago. That's that's no good. All right, so let's wait. What's it? I feel like this is a um. Yeah. Okay. This is a little ad to show say that bashing um off brand Lego. It's like it's the smallest detail that makes the biggest difference. That little Lego logo they're referring to, and it says we create over twenty billion individual Lego bricks every year. And each one carries the company name. And it's our stamp of quality and our guarantee of greatness play experience. So when you are looking for an ideal toy, look for the small name that makes a big difference. No other company makes Lego bricks. That's quite interesting here that they would bash them like that. Um, so up at the top left, we start and we have... Let's zoom in a little bit. We'll zoom in right there. Right here, this looks like almost Emmett's car. Um, I, th I think it is. Let me just go check real quick. Sorry if I'm taking up some time. Let me grab it real quick. Tell me these cars are not the same. They're om oh, they're, they're a little different, but you can see where that inspiration came from. That's, that's pretty cool. So I guess Emmett's car was reused. Um... I actually have this set. This is a very nice set. The repair truck. Uh, this is the coolest set. Probably a Toys R Us exclusive. I would love to get one of these. Um, what's that say? This was like a ch choice. Dan's choice for 2010 Lego City. Oh, I didn't know they had another bus set. That's kind of like the new one that just came out, except it doesn't have a little train. This is a really nice train set. That's cool. And power functions included. Flexible tracks. Um, I have this set, that's a really nice set, um, don't, I wish they had prices so I could see if it was like overpriced and stuff, um, cool airplane set, right there, sorry, I gotta remember I'm zoomed in, some more airplanes, I guess they had some airplane stuff going on, and, um, creator, creator stuff, oh, sound brick included, that's interesting, yeah, sorry, right there, and then, they looks like they were kinda going with this classic style for these bricks and more things. Okay, so right now we're in ages 4 to 12. Um, moving up, this is ages 6 to 14. This is actually Ninjago. And, oh, and we got racers too. Can't forget those. So let me just zoom out real quick, show you guys the whole page before I zoom back in. And we'll go in on the racers. So these are these um, power racers. And I guess they use those little pneumatic pumps, I guess they're called. They use those in Mission of Mars, too, I believe. Um, so that's very cool. They shoot out. That's interesting stuff there. Um, then we have Ninjago. This is like the first Ninjago stuff. I, I, this is first wave because it's the skeletons. I remember when these they still use spinners. Spinners were kind of a bad concept. But that's like the spinner training thing. There's the... The, um... Lightning Dragon, I have the ice one of that. That style dragon, they have made many reiterations of every dragon. Here's the Echo Hoth base. A lot of people wanted to get that when they made the US UCS thing. Um, 
Battle for Genosis. I'm not a real Star Wars fan, but this is some cool stuff. Exclusive something turnpike. I can't read that. Um, but I wonder if that's a Toys R Us exclusive. This is some cool stuff. Yeah, these are all Toys R Us exclusives, I guess, on this left side. Um, that's a really cool at, -AT walker. I might be getting this set because somebody I know has it. And they offered me two days to give me to that I could have some of their Legos. So that'd be a great set if I could get that one. I love that set. I've always seen it. Um, games. Here's the next page. This is going to be a longer video, so if you guys aren't into like all this history stuff, you might want to click off. But if you are, that's good. Good for you, because we are going to go in depth here. Wild Wild Wool, or Wild Wool, that's an interesting game. Never played that one. Um, okay, so we have Sandblock. Don't know how that works. Atlantis. And then here's Heroica. And this is actually, I did not know they made a playmat and storage box for it. Because Heroica, there was four, I believe, different parts. And you would buy, if you bought them all, you could connect it. So this was kind of the game they pushed the most. So I guess they made... Um, I guess they made five sets for Heroica. Actually, I have one of them. There are two of them, at rather, now, but I think that might, might, they might be the same set. Moving on to Technic. Here we go. Um, really cool power... F oh, no, this does not include power functions, but these you can use power functions. Um, this is really cool stuff. I really like this, um, car, because it looks really realistic to kind of the stuff that we would see today with those... Big GMCs and like the, I think they're the Yukons, um, stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. Not interested in Technic as much. But we got like some semi trucks and that's a really cool looking Camaro almost. I believe that's what it looks like. I'm not a real car guy, but I think that's what it looks like. Duplo. This will be a quicker page because I'm not too interested in this. Um, first we got some cool car pieces, stuff like that. Helicopter. Medic, nurse's car. It's got a lot of cool pet pets in it. I would like to get that set, maybe. That's a cool one with all the oversized food. Um, this little market area, marketplace. Doctor's clinic. So I guess they were kind of pushing the doctor stuff with the nurse. And this look, that looks like a veterina veterinarian's. Moving on, we got the... um. Oh, jeez. This is interesting stuff. Um... There is some car stuff. Tokyo Racing for the Cars 2 line. Um, World Grand Prix. That comes... These are cool stuff. I would like to get all those to line them all up. I know Just Too Good has all the brick-built ones. But I, he should really try to get all the Duplo ones as well. This is a really cool Toy Story. I know they made that in Lego bricks, but it's cool in Duplo too. As well as they made this set, the uh, Pizza Planet truck. That's really cool. I'm not aware that they made that. And then... There's a small serif set right here. There's Winnie the Pooh. Who knew they had Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> that rhymes. Um, and this side just looks like there's Tigger and um, Piglet, but I wonder if there's some with Winnie in them eventually. Okay, what an interesting page. Believe this is first wave Ninjago stuff. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But I have some of these sets, so that's pretty cool. Um, uh, Spinner wise, I believe I have this. I bought this one my when it, they first came out. Uh, I have, like, pretty much all these spinners, oh, because of bulk bins I've gotten, they, these are everywhere in bulk bins, because everyone liked this concept at first, but, um, I, I wish they were faster, sometimes, uh, these are really nice sets, too, if we move over here, I have this blacksmith shop, it's a pretty good set, uh, mine's kind of half complete, though, there's, then there's this, also, this is a cool set, which I actually have, that must have been in one of my bulk bins, because I remember seeing this little skull piece on here. Um, so I guess I could try to build that eventually if I really wanted to. And then I have two of this set, actually. I did a one of my videos, which is a uh, build with no instructions on that one, so that's pretty cool. Um, more Ninjago. I, don't, I think this is still wave one, maybe. This might be year one, and then there's two waves. That's probably what's going on, actually. These are the dragons, though, um, and there's some skull vehicles up here. This is a really nice set with the comes with the dragon and the temple, I guess. It's the fire temple. It's pretty interesting. This was the coolest dragon, I believe, from the first wave of dragons. It may have looked kind of weird, but it was different, and it made it stand out from the others, which were all just the same, pretty much. 
Um, sorry, the glare is blocking it right there. That's the one I'm talking about. Then you have Jay's Lightning Dragon. I have this Ice Dragon. It's pretty good, I guess. It's not the best. Some Spinjitzu stuff. Maybe it was that set I had. Who knows? I had one, something with that skull logo in it, so I'll have to try to look that up. It could have been this set. Who knows? Uh, I never knew they did... I knew they did that for Snake, but I didn't know they did that for um, Skull, where they just kind of did the same build with the face. Okay, so going into here... Um, okay, this is interesting. So <laughs> if you look up right here, it says, Be the first owned 2012 sets. Um, some kind of, I guess, Toys R Us is doing it first. Stay tuned. TV episodes coming soon to Cartoon Network. So, I guess, yeah, this is probably Series 1 that came out. And this is Series 2 of Wave Sets. I have that one. These are, those are, everyone hates this series because of all the snake vehicles. But it's not that bad. Looking over here, this is funny. This is Number five. It almost threw me off. It looked like se series seventeen, same color box, but this is, um, not the worst series. But it's not the best too. It's a bad series. This guy's cool though. He's expensive. Um, Alien Conquest. Let me zoom out and show you guys this. Sorry, one of my lights is in the way. Um, that's a really cool page. We're just gonna zoom in on. Oops, sorry about that. Zoomed in too much. Right there. Okay, so I don't have any of these Alien Conquest sets, but I really like them. The color scheme is a really good color scheme, as one of my Mission to Mars sets fall off this thing. Um, cool concept, I think. I don't think they went past one wave. They might have done two. It was a cool concept. Interesting. I don't know if they sold well, because I didn't. they weren't on the shelves for too long. Most of the builds were similar, but um, it was cool stuff. You can pause if you want to look at anything in depth, or if you comment something in the in the comments, I can answer that for you. This video will probably go to 20 minutes. I might do two parts to this one. Um, Toy Innovation 2009. Wow. Lego games. Yeah, I guess it wasn't innovation, but these are all Lego games. Nothing cool there. Um, Lego Champion. That's a cool one, actually. It's like a Jenga game. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Among, some of these might not have ever come out. Because I know a lot of Lego games got cancelled. But um. There's Hogwarts and Pirate Plank. Here's some more Lego games. We have Wild Wool again. Sunblock again. Atlantis again. Creationary and Minotaurus. I have both of those. They're both really fun games to play. I really like Minotaurus. I have two of Creationary actually. Here's all the Heroka stuff. So yeah. I was right. They made five sets. I have. This one, I believe. I might have two of that one. I don't know. It's a cool concept. Um, okay. SpongeBob! Yay! Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob Square Pants. Okay. So it looks like here they have. I don't know how many sets. It looks like there's four sets here. Yeah. Okay. So there is. There's the. Um, no, it's probably more than four. But. Looks like there's this little like kind of accessory pack with Squidward here, the molded head one. Thank God. Uh, and there's SpongeBob's house, which is a pretty good and desirable set. We got Glove World, some kind of heroic heroes there, and then the Krusty Krab. So that's all pretty cool stuff there. Um, here's some bricks and more, and I have this one. That I still need to empty out so I can make my my pink book and nations. We have a little some throwback ones here, but yeah, not too interesting of a page. Creator stuff. I have a few of these sets. We have the lighthouse. I don't have that, but that's a pretty nice set. Um, all cool builds. They're not too interesting, so I'm just gonna kind of skip over them. This is actually the first creator set, if I'm not mistaken, to have a minifigure, and I have it. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is a nice house. I kind of want to get that one. Not too interested in all the cars and stuff in Creation Creator because it's not city scale. I guess this is one of the the city, one of the many city space lines they've done. The New War one being a few years ago, I believe. So yeah, they have a little launch station. 
kind of mission control. I have that set, that little buggy. Um, it's a pretty nice little set. A little space shuttle, and then satellite launch pad, and little a astronaut transport, I guess. Over here we have Harbor. That's a pretty cool one. Uh, my stream, by now it's probably already happened because I post my videos very late. Um, it's actually city theme, so I'm going to talk about some of these sub-themes. That's really cool stuff. Um, a marina, that's a nice set. Um, nice loading dock and stuff. Speedboat, that's awesome. I like that fishing boat. The new one they came out was nice, but that's a pretty nice one too. Okay, more city. We have police station. That's one of the better police stations in my opinion. Um, prisoner transport. I don't think that's the one I have. That dog unit thing I have, it got destroyed. I never had it for too long. I think it got destroyed pretty quickly after um, I built it. But I would like to build that now because I have a bunch of those dogs now. That's that's a nice set, though. I like that set very much. Small, neat. I think it was like 10 bucks or something. Um, firehouse right here. I have that one. That's a really nice set. Mine's broken in half, so I only have half of it, basically. It's just... Um, this part and then the one garage the rest kind of got destroyed i don't have any of the vehicles but from what i can remember it was a good set moving on this stuff we already seen but this is kind of it's the bigger view of it i'm just gonna zoom out and then you guys can pause if you want and then we're gonna go back these are, these are actually exclusive toys r us which i didn't i don't get how i got two of those because I never really went to Toys R Us at all. And ours closest one is about a half an hour away. My parents usually, I'm assuming, bought my stuff at Target or probably online if that's where they got them. Here's trains, which is quite an interesting thing here. They have a little rail railroad construction work, um, train station. That's a nice high-speed passenger train. And then the cargo train. That actually looks pretty nice. I've never gotten a train. So, yeah, I need to get one of these. And then moving on, we have more trains. Toy Story. I know Lucas Bricks would probably like to see all this stuff. He loves Toy Story. Um, Toy Story Train. That's a cool set. I always liked this one, the Army Men, how they were all green. There's the little Zerg and Space Shuttle. I don't really like that set as much. That's an okay one. That's the Lotso's one. That one was probably based off, that's based off the third one. I don't really like that one as much. But that's a nice one too with the buggy. I would love to get that buggy one actually the most probably. Atlantis, cool, love Atlantis. Um, this is interesting because I guess they did. Yeah, it looks like this must be maybe the second wave of Atlantis, or maybe this is the first. And the stuff I have is the second because I have all these stuff that comes with the little, the rings and stuff. Those things. Sorry, this is going really long. I'm sorry, guys. Um. But yeah, this is, the the color scheme of this one's red and yellow, you know, all the sets I have is red and green. But this is a really nice looking Atlantis set. I would love to get that. The way they made all those pillars is really cool. Cool brick built angler there. And the rest of the stuff is just like, meh. You know, it's Atlantis. Pharaoh's Quest, I have that set. Very nice set. It's one of my favorite sets from my childhood. Um, I love play sets. That's a really nice one. And all the rest of the stuff I need to try out sometime. It all looks pretty cool. Free child ticket if anyone wants that. Um, get free Lego Club magazines. That's I think that's over. It might I don't no I think they replaced it with Lego Life. I think they still have it online though. No. Cars two. Flows Cafe really nice set. Um, sometime I gotta get one of these car sets. This is all Cars two. Not too interested in that. You guys can pause if you would like. Bon whoa, 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 this is bonus Lego Cars 2 disc included. Uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, oh, Hogwarts. I have this set. Just got that recently. You guys saw that. Really cool set there. Um, I have that one as well. I just completed it. Actually, I'm missing one piece still. But I, I kind of lo lose pieces over the years, and I tried to rebuild it. So, cool stuff. Um, I don't really like how this set, though, because it's kind of just a reiteration of... Hogwarts Castle. That's an iconic set. Everyone likes that one. The Burrow. Um, interesting. I never really don't know Harry Potter that much, so I don't know what it's from. Got the Flying Car, Hogwarts Express, and the Forbidden Force. All really cool sets. 
Uh, here's some the Lego Harry Potter game stuff. You know, you get here's five through seven stuff that came out. The 3DS, the DS. As far as they still had both of them. PSP. Wow, PSP is old. For they have even they even have it for Windows. They have it for Xbox 360, the PS3, and the Wii. That's a flashback there. Here's the wish list. I remember filling some of these out sometimes. So that's pretty interesting. Pirates of the Cure, man, this is cool stuff here. Um, the wheel, that's a cool set. Everyone likes that. That's the Cannibal Island, though. It's a little controversial. There's a Lego Pirates of the Cure video game. Um, small sets here. Light brick. I have that small set, the Captain's Cabin. I like. I always like it has those ship in the bottle pieces. I'm sorry, I'll zoom in a little more so you guys can see that a little better. It's kind of blurry, I know. Fountain of Youth set. Isla de Morta. And then they have the Black Pearl and the Queen Anne's, um, Queen Anne's Revenge. Both really nice sets. Not as good as the new one, though. I like that one. Star Wars. Not a huge Star Wars fan again. Millennium Falcon. Everyone loves the Millennium Falcon. Republic stuff here. Don't have any of these sets. Um... Yeah, Pod Racer. I like the Pod Racers. I would like to get that set. As well as the ATAT -AT Walker. Um. Hoth stuff. You guys already saw this earlier. More Star Wars. I have that set. That's a pretty cool set. Bounty Hunter ship. I like how it has a little prison at the bottom. This is an interesting sh looking ship. Probably would never get it though. This is Clone Wars stuff, by the way. Uh. Star Wars Clone Wars video game, I guess. Came out with. Sorry, let me move that. Um, this set, I have some pieces from a bulk bin from, so I need to tr maybe try to build that eventually. Um, some Mandalorian troops. These are the first, like, troop battle packs, I guess. I have this set. This set's pretty expensive now. I got that a while ago, and it goes for a lot now. So if you have that, look it up on eBay, and you'll be surprised. We're at 22 minutes, and I'm sorry, guys. Really sorry. This is way more interesting than the other ones. I usually do them in two parts, but... I can't be bothered to. And, um, Hero Factory. Not too interesting. I'll zoom out. You guys can look if you would like. See if I have. I don't have any of these Hero Factory sets. Racers, again. We already seen this with the Stomp Racers. You can look. Power Racers exclusives, I guess. Technic. The only one that's new here from the other page. Actually, some of these. That's a cool one. That's a cool one with the uh, stuff there. And they have this little electric. Something, I guess. That has a lot of possibility, it looks like. Um, more Technic, again. We already saw a lot of this stuff, except for these. That's an interesting one with the boom. Really like that one, again, as I said earlier. And NXT, the second version of Mindstorms, I guess. This is my favorite one. This is the one I've used before. It works really nicely. Duplo stuff. Again, I think we've already gone through this. Oh, no, we have not, actually. Um, they have some little fire stuff. I love the animals in this zoo set. I would love to get that sometime. Some more oversized foods and stuff. That one's like an alphabet. Play with letters. Play with numbers. And then there's even some little build packs there. Moving on. A few pages left. Hopefully my phone doesn't die. Or my iPod, rather. Saw this stuff. The car's racing. Here's Mater. Some Lu Luigi Italian place. Some more. That one's cool with the, uh, the big hippie dude. Um, toys, or not, Toy Story, yep. Yeah. Winnie the Pooh. Toy Story, we already saw. Winnie the Pooh. This is interesting. Um, I guess, yeah, they have all the guys in here. Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore, Tigger. They don't have the little owl or uh, the one guy. But, yeah, interesting stuff. You guys can pause and take a look. I'll zoom in on that page because that's an interesting thing there. Um, last page, always something to do in Legmo Duplo Town. That's a cool motorcycle piece as we hit 20%. I'll zoom in to show you guys that. Um, interesting stuff here. That's a cool house, or hospital rather. Um, hospital, interesting. And then just a little Duplo advertisement. So, thank you all very much for watching this video. If you liked it, like, comment, subscribe. And since this video is going so long, I won't drag on, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!